Okay, so I'm gonna try and talk you through some of this gameplay. So basically, always pop blade behind cover. Um, here, I didn't really have much of a plan besides the fact that the game was towards the end and uh, popping blade. I mean, there's not much to it. You swing like crazy if you're within within close range. Other than that, always pop behind cover because you don't really have much uh, armor. You can be easily team shot. You won today. Respect your so this next footage here is just, uh, it's Supremacy, and when you spawn in Supremacy you don't have any shotgun ammo. So here I'm just trying to slow the pace of the game down, and obviously just use primary, so Jackson, this is probably orientated more at you, just trying to show you how I play if I don't have a shotgun, because obviously you got to slow it down, you can't rush headstrong in. And this map as well is like very close quarters, so it can be pretty difficult. I was actually thinking about using the last word here because it's a faster fire rate close quarters weapon, but I thought that because of the higher impact on this hand cannon, uh, if I can pick my shots, then I should do all right. Now, I don't challenge this guy in here because he's got the advantage being around the corner. So I'll see if my teammates are going to do that. I don't have any shotgun ammo. If I had shotgun ammo, I might have pushed him, but probably not, because heading through a, t a doorway like that, they can just be sitting on the other side. So, finally got shotgun ammo. I still don't think you'll see me play very aggressively with it. The biggest thing with Supremacy too is you really want to stick with your teammates. Uh, this, this one's Inferno Supremacy, so there's no radar. Um, which makes it obviously a lot harder to see where the hell everyone is. But even here, see, I pick him off. I think, yeah, I'm getting approached by two people here. I know I can't take on two unless I use blade. Get him back inside, seeing if there's anyone else. And there's nothing. Five minutes remaining. Actually pretty hard to commentate this. <sighs> Basically I just like, I'm waiting to see if there's engagements where like, it's worth noting. You can see here, even as I'm popping in and out of cover, a hand, my hand cannon can hit that range, but that is pretty damn far. Um, I probably shouldn't have even bothered trying to challenge it because snipers will always sit in that laneway. Yeah, and obviously I just got done from behind. Another hard thing about not having a radar. How's that range on that shotgun? the biggest things you have to learn with hand cannons and one of the main reasons why I tell you boys that if you learn hand cannons it's probably s serves you the biggest advantage is the main reason for popping in and out of cover it's easy because of the high impact it's easy to land one or two shots and then run off you'll you'll notice in a lot of my gameplay there's a clip towards the end of this where I actually find myself in like 1v4 situation and I managed to get out of it alive I do not know how. I think the hunter's mobility helped me a lot. But um, if you can't, if you can't win the engagement, just get out of there. There's no point. You know, if you die, you got to wait for the respawn animation. You're giving away a crest. You got to play smart. Give yourself the advantage. This map is pretty damn hard, though. I'm actually fairly. I'm not very confident in this map usually. Even going outside here with blades probably a dumb move. Is uh, like I was saying before, blades like you can easily get team shot. If you got two people, three people shooting at you when you have blade active, you're gonna die. Here's the one v four situation. There's two there. There's one in front of me and another one on the platform. So I know I haven't got a shotgun, so I get the fuck out of there. Now uh, this guy, I, I think that I can take him out. And yet again, I haven't had t a chance to reload yet, so I'm trying to weigh up how I'm going to engage this guy. I choose to back off, 
because four bullets is probably wasn't enough for me to kill him. I don't feel that confident anyway. So pretty much any time I see teammates pushing forward, I'll probably push with them. I know here there was, because of the radar, you couldn't see one of them. One of them got killed, and then we thought we got them all. I turned around to check, and then all of a sudden I was shot in the back. So Sometimes you can't do anything about that. Started with yeah. nothing but a fighting spirit. Sonic shit.